Hey everyone, Dwayne here with Bronco Wild Outdoors. I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, as you can see, I don't have my little co-host <laughs> with me here today, Mr. Gavin. He is uh, currently uh, doing something else. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit, just a real short video tonight. We don't have a, I don't have a whole lot going on tonight. Um, I did do a, um, I did a walk around of a Big Ben, Area 51, 2.7 auto, of course, uh, soft top. And it was pretty cool. I was hoping to have the video ready uh, to go this week. Actually, we're making two videos. We're going to do one with the, um, the, the actual walk around, you know, like you typically see. And then one where I was able to dive deep on the HVAC question. So particularly air conditioning. Um, does the AC work in the Bronco? So <clears throat> I'm not going to say everything because I want you to watch my video. And by the way, if you would subscribe to our channel, I would greatly appreciate the help. And also, if you like the video, like other videos, if you go through the whole library there and just check out some of the cool stuff we've got, it helps uh, you to promote us to other people looking for Bronco content, makes the channel grow or helps the channel grow. And we greatly appreciate it. Uh, so I found out the question about the AC. Now, I think part of the air conditioning in the Bronco, it's uh, there's a little bit of confusion. And I know some people, are, you know, are going to, you know, probably think this is crazy to uh, to say it. Uh, but when you're using the AC in most cars, especially in the new Bronco, because you do not have the vents in the back of the uh, center console or in the side panels, obviously they're not in the top for you know obvious reasons. Uh, what you find is that there's vents below the seat. The problem is this that is for the floor. Typically, in a vehicle, if you do it in a in a, in a perfect world, you use the AC out of the dash vents, and then you have a defrost selection, obviously to for the windows and the front windshield. But then you have the floor setting. And in the Bronco, you have an air distribution uh, section. So you actually hit uh, one of the buttons on the uh, heating and air conditioning control and a screen will come up on the touch screen and it'll tell you air distribution. And you can pick several options. You can pick defrost and floor. You can pick vents and floor or, you know, defrost and vents. And so you can mix it up a little bit. So in doing this test drive of this uh, Big Ben, what we found was this. If you run the AC just on the vents, uh, in the dash vents, and you adjust the vents so they're not blowing directly on you, you have a tendency to let the AC run a little bit longer so it's not blowing on you, making you too cold. But if you turn the two vents in the center of the dash blowing to the back seat, it actually mixes the air pretty good, even with a soft top. Now, the day we did this was 90 to 92 degrees, depending on where exactly we were because of, you know, the asphalt or if you're in the park, it was like 89 degrees. We were on the interstate, maybe 92. And what happened was you could actually feel the heat radiating in through the top. Now, the way heat gain works, and this is in anything, your house, your car, anywhere, you have a few different sources of heat. You have you know, conductive heat, radiant heat. And so you have the radiant heat that the sun beating down on the roof of the vehicle and through the glass. Then you have the conductive heat coming through the firewall and the floor of the vehicle. And um, so what I found was that if you set the fan control, something, I mean, obviously when we got in, it was 102 or three degrees. So we got it going pretty quick, right? Put the fan on high, turn it as cold as possible. But then when we got, I, I don't know, maybe four or five minutes into the drive, the temperature was down into the 70s. And I have a uh, thermometer that I was checking not only the temperature with, but the wet bulb. So we have a dry bulb uh, temperature and a wet bulb temperature. A wet bulb temperature sort of is the what does it feel like temperature. Um, and then also checked humidity. And I was actually with the soft top amazed at how low the humidity dropped with the ac on you know sometimes the vehicle will feel a little cold and clammy inside well the bronco ac works pretty well so the way it works is you set the dash uh the vents to blow on you originally and then you can adjust the vents so they're blowing past you into the back and what i found was it circulated the air in the back pretty well now if you turn the floor setting on the distribution screen if you turn it to floor uh 
it, it even though the vents are in the floor, it moves very little air. I mean, it had really good airflow from under the dash, which will kind of like freeze your feet, really. Um, you know, after a long extended drive, but it, you're not moving a lot of air underneath the seat. So I only recommend that for a heat setting. Uh, run it out of the dash. And I know this is basic information for some people, but I have seen, you know, there's no AC vents in the console. They're only under the seat. Well, technically, if you're using max AC and you have it on vent, it's not working. It's not moving any air below the front seats. Um, you know, it's only when you put it in the floor setting. So uh, the video, I think, will clear a lot of that up and actually show uh, temperature, both dry bulb, wet bulb. So the wet bulb, remember, is the feel-like temperature. Uh, when you're having your AC charged at your house, if it's done properly, it's being charged using a wet bulb number. Uh, it's a more accurate way of telling. It. And and by the way, if you had 100% humidity, the dry bulb and the wet bulb would be about the same. And when we separate, meaning the wet bulb temperature is lower than the dry bulb temperature, then that automatically tells you that you have lower humidity. And of course the gauge shows us that. So it was actually pretty cool. And I know this is some just lame information for some people, but if you're curious to know, does the AC work? We were um, on the highway uh, 90 or, you know, 89 to 92 degrees, depending where you were uh, pretty hot. And then even in traffic, the AC worked fine. I forget what we, I think we got the cabin down to, the mid 60s low 60s um but as i'm editing that video you'll see that anyway so if you want to know if the ac works yes it works now i don't know um i'm starting to loosen up a little bit about not being one of the first people with a bronco because i'm starting to see some of the little you know things i'm hoping they get some of the manufacturing bugs worked out uh, I, I i saw a picture uh, of a top the other day i think it was i forget where it was but probably bronco 6g or something like that uh, but in the center over the hero switches, it was the top was kind of bowed up a little bit. Um, and, you know, then today I saw, I think on the same site, I saw where honeycomb uh, texture was coming through one of the tops. So, you know, the tops still aren't straight. Um, as of right now, I'm holding out for a hard top. I don't want to convert my order to a soft top. So, you know, whatever. And then the longer I have to wait, maybe some of these little small things will be worked out with it and be happy. So, um, but I did, you know, today we went to the beach, but without a Bronco, of course. And, uh, I really, really, really can't wait to test the Bronco on the sand. So, um, but anyway, and, and also you, if you want to convert your order from a hard top to a soft top, Ford has extended that date until, and it's highly, you're highly encouraged. Uh, I don't know if it's like a solid date, but you're highly encouraged by July 23rd uh, to opt into the, you know, get the soft top in lieu of the hard top with the prep kit. Now, uh, this might be basic information for some people, but I haven't been able to get this, you know, cleared up. Um, the, the controls for the rear wiper defrost, is it in the control panel on the heating and air section, or is it going to be something added? I know the wiring is there for it, so it sounds like you can plug the top into the, the wiring will actually be included now, but I'm assuming, so the switch is just going to be there, not operable, is that, you know, I really don't know that yet, so I'd like for somebody, hey, if you know, you know, post in the comments, if you know that, will the switch actually be there um, in the dash, so I know the wiring will be there, so it can be plugged in, but do we have to add the switch, is there like a dummy plate or something like that, I have no idea, so if you know, I would love to know myself, but the A, the AC question, the AC works great. Uh, at least it did for us. And we're in a hot, humid climate here in Southeast Virginia. So trust me, if the AC works here, it probably works uh, just about everywhere. Um, and I have Gavin over here in the background. Are you going to join me? Come on over, dude. Come on over, man. You're welcome anytime. I thought you were preoccupied. We only have a couple of viewers here, so. Not a big deal, right? Mr. Gavin is here joining us in the house. Oh, by the way, um, if you're interested in getting one of our Bronco Wild Outdoor Hold shirts, on. we have them. We have them on the way. Uh, they'll be available soon, and uh, not that I'm here to sell you something, but we'll have them if you want them. And uh, we have some pretty cool stuff coming to the channel. Um, we, uh, you know, we're talking. I, I think we just need to hurry up and buy an old Bronco so we can, you know have some really good content but um here we go right here we have a better here don't go anywhere watch this
Let me see this. So this is the back. Uh, now, on the final shirts, it's not going to have the Instagram and the YouTube uh, logo on the back. Uh, just be the, uh, the logo here. And also, check this out. I think if you watch this, watch us quite a bit. I had a client make this for me. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Mrs. S. We'll just call her Mrs. S. Mrs. S is a very nice lady. Uh, but anyway, so we need a Bronco. Right, Gavin? Yeah. We need a Bronco. So, you know, the idea, like today, we went to the beach, and it would have been really cool to pull the Bronco there right up to the, uh, to the water and do a little fishing and, you know, catch a tan and whatever else we were doing, right? Yeah. Um, but we don't have it yet. So, hey, if you... If you're watching right now live, if you're watching later, you can always leave a comment. Leave me a comment if you have your Bronco, if you've received it, if you know someone personally, you've received their Bronco, how do they like it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Glad you could join us. We start at 9 o'clock. Actually, it, um, Extreme Bronco Sunday Night Edition. So it's a little play on words. Uh, if you remember the TV show Extreme Makeover Home Edition, I was blessed to be a builder for that. Here's some of the goodies here behind us. Um, I was blessed to be a builder on that TV show for a few episodes, a couple, three episodes, whatever it was. And um, it was fun. So I figured, what the heck, let's have a little fun and call it uh, Extreme Bronco Sunday Night Edition. I think that's what I titled it. Yeah, Sunday Night Edition. And I think we'll start doing that. So when we have our Bronco, here's the idea that we're out Friday and Saturday doing some fun stuff. And of course, during the week too, right? But then Sunday night. We can kind of join wherever we are, maybe here or wherever, and just kind of talk about what we did, you know, that weekend and show you some stuff. And what do you think? Yeah. Talk to me. And you have distractions in the background, lightning. Oh yeah, so uh, we storm. yeah we have a we have a storm moving in, all the warnings and stuff going off. So I don't want to get zapped. So we were going to be wrapping this up a little bit sooner than possible. But hey, definitely comments. What do you think about the Bronco? What do you what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What do you uh, wish you had? Have you ridden one? Have you gotten to drive one yet? Uh, do you even own one? And there's the thunder. Um, you know, tell me, uh, you know, I'd love to know. Comment right here. Don't be shy. Come on, join. So, and by the way, like I said, please share the channel too to your friends. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, and, uh, you know, the content I'll, I'll tell you, it would be a lot easier if we actually had our Bronco, right? So we can talk about the stuff. I just talked about the July 23rd extension for the uh, soft top uh, conversion on your order. So if you have an MIC top, you can uh, let your dealer know by July 23rd. It says you're highly encouraged if you want to get the prep kit. I don't know what that means. If, if I change my order now to that, does it move me to the back of some line like, I, you know, it's just rumors and stuff, but Ooh. does it does it move you to the back of the line? What do you think? Would it move you out of the line? Uh, maybe a little bit. Further. I mean, the point is to speed it up, right? So it's taken a while to get the hard tops. I get it. Probably not to the back, but probably further. Move you a little bit? Yeah. So what should we do? I mean, have you, if anyone out there, if you've, if you've ordered a Bronco and you haven't obviously gotten it yet, are you considered doing that? I don't really know what the answer is. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. And the other thing is, you know, we did this review of the Big Ben. Um, you'll hear the audio with the soft top. It's like a convertible. Um, you know, we're getting this Bronco. We, we don't expect it to be quiet. I also, believe it or not, don't even expect it to be 100% leak free in a, let's just say a heavy downpour or a driving wind or something crazy with the weather. Uh, I, I would prefer it not leak. But it is an off-road vehicle. It does have a soft top. And, of course, with the hard tops, too, I think there's some, you know, maybe some concerns about that. But it is, it's like a, I don't know, I'm, if, if I see a small drip somewhere, I'm not going to be too bent out of shape. Um, unless it's dripping on the dash or something crazy. But, you know, let's face it, if this is a new vehicle. Just started rolling them out, I think, what, three weeks ago. I saw the first one, you know, a red one show up up in uh, Michigan somewhere. And and then since then, it's just daily people getting their Broncos. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess if I pay 60 grand, I'd prefer it not to leak, wouldn't you? Yeah. And um, like, remember what we were going through off, like, as soon as we got off the bridge in the van? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. that was across the creek from yeah. Nanny's house, huh? It was, yeah, it was, uh, we had some heavy rain, but I mean, that's, you know, that's, that was unusual. That was the one, like, one of these flooding rains, but I don't really know what the story is. I've just, you know, um, I, I want to see more of these Broncos on the road and, and sort of get more feedback. I mean, the bottom line is we're getting one and uh, we're, you know, we're not, there's no turning back, but we're excited to get it. I've also seen some complaints about the uh, 2.7 and power disappointed. I don't really know what people are expecting. I mean, if you're, if you're headed to the quarter mile and, you know, you, you want to try to, you know, get your whole shot down and, you know, cut the tree down and run maybe 11, 12 seconds and a quarter mile, you might be, but uh, we drove this Bronco in Texas. Well, first of all, we rode in one in Tennessee, which was awesome. Then I drove one at Bronco Off Rodeo, and then we did the the review of the 2.7 Big Ben, and there's no lack of power there, at least not for what I know it's used for. I mean, there again, it's not a race truck, you know. What do you think? No, but I mean, it'll run. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, you, I mean, if you look at the video here on my channel, Breaking Bronco, or at least trying, that was the name of the title or the name of the video, uh, you'll you'll see that the 2.7 is capable of. So I'm not buying into that. Uh, you know, I know there's some top issues. We know all that. I mean, that's just a beating the, the whole thing to death, you know. But um, but anyway, so we're out. Lightning's getting bad. Uh, I don't, a little bit of static here in the headphones, so um, didn't get too close for that. But we're out tonight. Hope everyone has a good night. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, check out some of our other videos. Really cool. Live streams are a little bit different. I get it. Uh, but we're just kind of talking about the stuff of the day. And we're working on having a very special guest here very soon. So uh, Bronco Wild Outdoors, one of these days we will be in a Bronco and we will be outdoors. Mm-hmm. Won't we? Yeah. All right. Glad you could join me, my man. Yeah. All right. Everyone, see you later. Have a great night. Be safe. Productive week. And uh, yeah, watch for the videos on the Big Ben walk around and on the question, does the AC work? See ya. Bye.